Welcome to Broken News Daily, a break from your normal news. Have you ever gone to a party, bought a stolen snake, woke up the next morning to the snake trying to eat your friend, saved your friend from the snake, tried to sell the stolen snake to a reptile store, and got arrested and convicted in possession for stolen goods? Yeah, me neither. Dwayne Matthews has, though. The 29-year-old from Coventry, England, went to a party with friends and had a few too many beers and decided it would be a good idea to buy a 10-foot African rock python named Bruce from the back of a van in front of the party. One problem? Bruce, or in snake language, Bruce, had been stolen hours ago, along with eight other snakes from an outhouse nearby. You see, this is why you never buy speakers from the back of a van in a parking lot. They're stolen, and they come from an outhouse. According to Dwayne's lawyer, Richard Baker, in his wisdom, and no doubt egged on by his inebriated friends, he decided it'd be a good idea to buy it and sell it. The next morning, he realized it hadn't been such a good idea. I'll say it wasn't a good idea. Dwayne woke up to Bruce, coiled like an S with his jaws open near his friend who was sleeping on the couch. And what did Dwayne do? Instead of running away like Indiana Jones, he ran upstairs, grabbed a duvet cover, and threw it over Bruce and put him in a tank. Dwayne's quilt is a real lifesaver. Dwayne, realizing he had to get rid of Bruce before he killed someone, tried to sell him to a local reptile store. Unfortunately for Dwayne, the store was on the lookout for stolen snakes and called the police. Upon his arrest, Dwayne admitted to making a mistake in buying the stolen snake, but said he was trying to do the right thing by not just throwing Bruce away. He said that if the pet store didn't want him, his next step was donating Bruce to the zoo. Dwayne was sentenced to a suspended eight-week jail sentence and an eight-week curfew for receiving stolen goods. Stolen goods? More like stolen bads, am I right? Bruce the Snake now stands on trial for attempted murder. Just kidding. The snake nap Bruce has been returned to his owner David Chance and his cool shorts. All in all, this is a pretty crazy story. I do think we should go easy on Dwayne though. Haven't we all made our fair share of dumb Miss Snakes? That's it for today. More broken news coming tomorrow. See you then.